Is it really true that Ariana Grande broke up with her boyfriend, Ricky? Justin Bieber says no to gay sex. And Demi Joe and Nick almost RIP'd their fans last night. All this and more on today's rundown. You guys, Aaron totally made me say that just now in the opening line. That was Aaron's writing. But it made you want to keep watching though, right? True. I guess that's the whole point. Okay, if that doesn't make you want to keep watching, then you definitely want to keep watching now because Calvin Harris and Kanye might be teaming up. And when I say tag team, I don't necessarily mean against Taylor Swift, but I You could... did not say tag team, you said team up. Oh. I said tag team. <laughs> Okay, details, <laughs> details, well when I said team up, I don't mean against Taylor Swift, is that Correct. better? Yes. Okay, because I mean musically, possibly, potentially in the future. Here's what E! News has Sounds found like out. Sounds like a rumor. No! A source close to Calvin tells E! News, so it's reputable, that Calvin, quote, wants to make some music with Kanye down the road, and that he thinks Kanye is, quote, brilliant with music, and this might actually happen because another source close to the Kardashian family told E! also that Kanye always thought that Calvin was really talented, and it would make sense because, you know, Kim and Calvin hung out at Jayla's birthday party recently. Calvin has let the world know that he loves uh, Kanye's music, so I think this is definitely gonna happen. If for nothing else, to just get that last stab in at Taylor Swift. Well, I think it should happen musically, not for a stabbing, because <laughs> this would be an awesome direction for Kanye to go the EDM route, and Calvin is so talented. I think it would be like musical magic. Even if it had nothing to do with Taylor Swift at all, period, I would ship these two together. So how did Kylie's Kai Shadow launch go yesterday? Well, you said yesterday that she was making extra things so that people wouldn't, they wouldn't run out so fast. No, I said that they were only letting people purchase one and oh, multiple. Got okay. So that oh. more people could buy them. Got it. Well, it went fantastic <laughs> with a K at the end. Fantastic. Because Kylie sold out her first round of Kai Shadows, the bronze palette with nine shadows, in just a minute. Kylie Instagrammed a pic of the palette yesterday, writing, OMG. My Kai Shadow palette sold out in one minute. This is crazy. Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry to disappoint anyone that couldn't get one. We will be back this Friday with more bronze palettes at Kylie Cosmetics. She also tweeted her teen's reaction to the news. OMG, I just heard all the ladies who worked so hard to physically make all my palettes were crying when they sold out so cute. I mean, the good news is that we're gonna get more palettes this Friday. That was quick. Yeah, I'm happy with this whole situation. If she can sell out that fast and then do a turnaround a week later, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm sort of wondering why did it even sell out then if you can make more in just four days? I bet you they already had some extra made. All right. I think she wants press. it to sell out for the press. Ah. That's my conspiracy theorist on the inside talking. I don't disagree with that. And speaking of makeup, Selena Gomez has undergone a new makeover for her shows in Asia on her revival tour. Sort of a wardrobe revival, if you will. And there's an awesome reason why she's doing this, and it's for respect. Entering the Asian countries has prompted Selena to undergo a whole new look. She added more fabric to her sexy wardrobe out of respect for the country's religions. So she debuted this new choppy bang and shorter wavy hairstyle on Instagram and her new tour look, a black turtleneck shirt with wide leg black pants. And a photo on the Revival Tour Instagram was captioned new wardrobe in Asia because just one week before her first Asia show, which was in Malaysia, the country threatened to cancel her show due to her skimpy wardrobe. Oh. So are we glad she changed it up so she didn't have to cancel the show so the fans would be happy yeah sucks that she had to change herself for their religious rules but still cool yeah i think that it's good that she changed it because every culture is different mm -hmm. and you can't go into other people's cultures and demand certain expectations that you have in your culture and i think her fans appreciate the fact that she did that so she could perform for them yeah so i have a little bit of bad news when it comes to ariana grande mm. you guys have been tweeting me so much lately about whether or not she and her backup dancer turned boyfriend ricky alvarez have broken up and i was trying to investigate but i couldn't find enough details to actually confirm it, but now we do have confirmation today that these two are over. So a source close to Ari revealed, quote, she broke up with him, 
He didn't cheat or anything. They just found it difficult to make it work. They are still friends, though. And then they also revealed that Ari is, quote, happy to be single and do her for a little while. Earlier in the week, Ariana did kind of like a classic tweet and delete situation. She tweeted out a couple of things. One was change, feeling free, happy, banging, but yeah, bangs. And then she deleted those messages and went on to tweet, life is wild and change is fantastic. Why do you y'all always got to be right about everything? I love you. Thank you for loving me and caring and having my best interest at heart. I love you. I know this source says that this was kind of a mutual breakup. They're still friends, but it sounds like she wasn't too happy. Yeah. If this is about Ricky. Sounds like there's a little bit of resentment on Ariana's part there. But that's okay. She's busy. She does not have time for yes. a relationship. I think being single will be great for her. I know. She'll and some new music. And she just got nominated for five VMAs. Mm -hmm. So She's got a lot to be excited about right now. She don't need no man. I do want to point out though, that Erin, you didn't even mention her Instagram that she posted last night where she's playing Pokemon Go. <gasps> I didn't picture, notice. It says, we love catching them all. <gasps> oh my god. I She's thought just I... playing Pokemon to get over her breakup. I thought I loved her before, but now I love her even more. Frickin' kindred spirits. Did Justin Bieber turn down a movie role due to some potential guy on guy action? Oh, yeah. sounds like he probably would, knowing I, Justin. Yeah, we'll get to that. So the rumor mill turned this one out last night and oh. believers were freaking out. Page Six reported that Justin was offered a role in a new Hollywood film called Uber Girl to play a young pop star, which is not far from the truth. So it seems like a good fit for JB, even though he's not an actor. One would think, right? But the reason that Justin supposedly turned it down? Well, the script co-writer, his name is Pete O'Neill, he told Page Six this quote, he won't take the part unless the scene with him and one of the male backup dancers is taken out of the final script. While Justin's rep denied any truth to this story or Justin ever being offered the role in Uber Girl at all, I don't think it's far off from something he would do or request. He has this, you know, reputation that he holds on to tightly and he's known for being a ladies man. So I think he would do that. I don't understand why people are upset at all. I think he has the ability and the freedom to make a decision That's saying, true. I don't want to have sex with a guy on camera. I don't want to have sex with a girl on camera. Like, why are we upset that he said no to this? Plus, I know that it's not exactly in line with his like, spiritual beliefs too. I've heard some things down the road, like mm. in circles that he may not approve of this. Okay. And so I'm like, if he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to. Right. Just because Nick Jonas did it in Kingdom doesn't mean that Justin has to do it. Exactly. Nick is an actor. He is. But also, I want to tell you that the script writer also said he's eyeing Selena Gomez, Ariana Grande, and Kiernan Shipka to also be in the movie because Ooh. it's like this coming of age story for millennials, so they want all these young stars. Well, in then it, so. he might have denied doing it or turned it down because Selena might no, be involved. No, that would make him want to do it. No, Are you kidding me? Come on. Yes. He doesn't want to be in a sex scene with a guy in a movie with Selena. Okay, that's fair. That's probably not. Maybe he wants Selena, to be with Selena in the sex maybe scene. Maybe Selena will play the guy. <laughs> maybe is she like transgendered or something? Yes. I'd watch this we movie no matter it what. For you guys. I'd watch this movie no matter what. Speaking of Nick Jonas and his sex scenes that he does, by the way, that one sex scene that we talked about a couple of months ago with him, and it was like a threesome, was I still can't get the images out of my mind. It was intense, y'all. Okay, but last night, Nick is on tour with Demi right now. They brought out Joe Jonas on stage, which you guys kind of know where I'm going with this. The three of them all pulled out their Camp Rock theme song, and they nailed it. <laughs> Tweets that I read online after this happened, the fans were like, oh my God, I'm dying. My 10 year old self was just resurrected. I'm crying, I can't handle myself. They were so cute, the audience loved it. And I thought it was really good. They all sound so good. I know this finally happened, like thank goodness. I feel like we had a very controversial show today with lots of big issues being brought up. So yeah. tell us what you think about all of those things and let us know if you think Justin maybe should have considered doing this role if he was offered it. Yeah. Also, do you think that Ariana Grande should have broken up with Ricky? And what do you think the first thing she should do as a single lady is? Like, should she like go buy a new car 
or I don't know, or celebrate somehow. I say like an epic girls' night. Like get in yeah. the onesie, order the pizza, play some mash, watch some Mean Girls, just do it. I feel like that's something she would absolutely <laughs> do. All right, guys, weigh in in the comments, and I guess DHR is over. So sad. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. Whoa, did Kylie Jenner just get a butt tattoo? Uh, kind of, in that box on the left. And on the right, click there for Selena Gomez posting a very cryptic message about her tour.